Oh, you thought there was going to be something in there? Yeah. No. Now, this is just the announcement, uh, the official announcement that we're packing up shop here. The shop we just got in and got all nice and settled into and moving to Tennessee, guys. We had an amazing opportunity show up to uh, move to Tennessee. You'll find out the opportunity in the following video. But for now, we're getting things wrangled up. We're going to be shoving all of our merch in the back of the trailer here. Uh, we're going to make a couple trips for that, but we're going to get some of it packed up. We're getting the Sconia ready to rip. Um, we got two new batteries in it. The Optima batteries are great when you keep them charged up, but the moment you let them die like once or twice, they're toast. So thankfully we had some warranty on them. So we got them warrantied out at O'Reilly's, got new batteries in it. Link got the door put back together, it looks like. And uh, I think we're gonna be, oh, I fixed the door on it too. Oh. I just lubed up the latch. That's all it was. Jeez. This whole time was the latch. Was just now I can actually. If you keep slamming it like that, you're gonna I break it. <laughs> the only problem is you probably won't be able to open it from the inside. <laughs> I don't know. Should I try it? Well, the thing's broke, so it probably won't. It might. Yeah. Well, let's lock it right here. We'll try it. Oh, poop. We still can't open it from the inside, but at least I can reach the outside and get now. Door closes on it. So anyhow, we're loading up merch. This morning we went and got our brand new BMW. Turnover ball installed. Roll the footage, Ryan. Guys, we're here at All American Trailer Connection at our old shop in Dade City. Uh, got a hold of these guys. We bought a trailer from them already. Said, hey, I need a hitch. And uh, we're putting a BMW turnover ball in our brand new truck. I don't think we really revealed this truck on the main channel, but here it is. Um, we're going to be getting a turnover ball installed with these guys. So let's get to it. First thing we got to do is drill a hole in this perfectly good bed. <laughs> And hopefully I've got it marked in the right spot. So let's get to it. Good. You sure this measuring tape's accurate? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. We used to drill these holes back back in the day before uh, electric drills were decent with a one of these huge like one horsepower drills and slid twist you around the bed. <coughs> they are so strong. Boom. It's good douche. One hole cut in a perfectly good bed. <coughs> now let's put all this stuff underneath it to support the ball we're gonna be installing. It's gonna be fun. This is the first step on us moving to Tennessee, guys. So let's get it done. So while we're getting some parts laid out, <coughs> All American Trailer Connection here, uh, a lot of the, well, I say a lot of it. Lance <laughs> is the new tech here. He's never put a, a hitch in. So this is a training kind of for, for him and I've, we've done a ton of them, but we wanted to do it here because these guys took care of us on this here hitch. So we're, uh, I'll be kind of giving Lance the rundown. He's a very competent man, but uh, we're gonna do it together so you can see how it's done. Um, yeah, so first things first, we're getting all the support bars. These newer trucks have a lot of the underbody stuff kind of prepped for gooseneck hitches nowadays from the factory. So um, we're gonna get this stuff laid out, get the hitch hung in the bottom of the truck here in just a second, and get to it. Oh, look at that. There you go.
So folks, we made it back here to the shop. We've got the truck up on the lifts and we're tightening up the rest of these hardware bolts underneath here for the hitch. And we're about to head to the house and hook up to the camper and bring it back to the shop, load up all the merch, load up some of that stuff. And we're gonna be getting ready to load up the pulling truck and all kinds of stuff here shortly, probably tomorrow and get ready to take our first load in Tennessee to the shop we're moving to. And you'll see that shop when we get there. But for now, I'm gonna get this done. hitch all installed we've got our merch on these roll cards that we usually keep it stored on for shipping and uh we're gonna be loading it in the back of my camper which we're gonna be staying in for a few days while we get waiting on our house to come available that i rented it's freaking sick and uh yeah me and lake and Air, uh and ryan are heading up and uh we'll be back in this weekend but lots of videos rolling out this week you guys have got to pay attention to if you want to keep on the updates with everything so let's get this stuff loaded up. There you have it, guys. We've got this thing loaded up with some of the merch, boxes, and everything else. Our first trip up there, just utilizing all of our space. Tomorrow, we're going to get Scania, pulling truck, and possibly our little burnout truck all loaded on the trailer. I don't know if it's going to fit or not, but we're going to try. Well, folks, we just cut the top out of a uh, tote here. Ryan, or Ryan was supposed to film it and didn't. What an so anyways, what I did, I bought this one. We were going to put water in it for going to mud events. We can do another one a different day, but we bought 10 more totes. And what we're going to be doing is instead of like piling everything on pallets and wrapping it up and possibly falling over, like what happened on our last move, a little mess. We bought these totes we're cutting the tops out of. And each truck here we've taken apart, we have projects <clears throat> with all the parts and whatnot. So we just worked on the pulling truck we got some interior parts put in it we'll reveal that in a later video but we're gonna take all the stuff we took out of the pull truck and everything in here from past pull truck present pull truck and current pull truck and put it all in one of these bins same with the white scania same with the red scania and everything else we have floating around so that we're kind of organized and then we're gonna take and put it all in that drive in back there and go to tennessee on another trip so now we got this thing empty let's uh maybe we should wash it out or just let it ride. Just let it, let it ride. We got some liquid in there now. Mystery liquid. So, all right, well, let's get it in the shot. We'll start putting some junk in it. So, the other day, Ryan and I started making this whole video about everything we were going to put up for sale. And we still may release some stuff we're going to sell in this video. But we're no longer going to make a dedicated for sale video. My buddy Casey, I hit him up sold our loading dock and a bunch of extra attachments we don't need made him the deal of the century just gotta say goodbye to stuff we still got this mahindra tractor loader it fits a 7095 7095 mahindra or a 7100 mahindra so anybody needs that it's a sweet loader but casey bought the stuff tomorrow morning we'll be back up here get some stuff loaded up getting ready to hit the road in tennessee but this video is for things we have for sale and some projects are going to be getting x nade because we're moving but following videos up you'll understand why the scanias are not going anywhere the peterbilts are not going anywhere but stuff you see behind me <clears throat> some tractor attachments some tractors and some stuff in the shop is all for sale so i'll list the prices in the description down below if you're interested in anything you can shoot me an email um, we'll be in and out of the shop the next few weeks as stuff sells i'll update the video under the description what's still available and what's not Please, please, please only contact me if you're seriously interested. With that being said, let's go see what we've got for sale. So first things first, we're going to talk about is some of the semi-trucks, but we've got this old Mahindra tractor right here. It's a Mahindra 4025. Currently got a tire. It's a little flat over there. This thing runs perfect. I mean, cherry, but it reverse is broken in it and it needs reverse. So it's a 40 horsepower machine. I don't know how many hours are on it. This oil is not from this. It's from where we were pressure washing something next to it. Uh, yeah, let me go grab the key to it right quick. So you got a little bit of a hydraulic leak up there on the steering cylinder. Little busted grill. I think it's got around a thousand hours on it. Um, 
7,500 bucks. And when the airplane gets done flying past us, it comes with a bonus free tractor. I'll show you that in just a second. I'm gonna get the key and we'll start it up. Yeah. So I thought we needed to jump it off. It's got 409 hours on it. This thing cheats dude. <laughs> Just freaking minty. So like I said, it runs and drives fine. Just reverse works. It's like an optional gear in there. It needs the transmission repaired. We took it apart, looked at it. It needs reverse gear. So remember I mentioned it comes with a free bonus tractor. I'm going to show it to you right now. So right there it is, right up there on the top. Oh, that's a steal. Dude, it really is. It comes with the loader brackets and everything on it. What? The tractor was in a fire on the front half, but the transmission and everything is still good on Those it. Those tires so, look good, too. A little bit of a project. And then on top of that, we've got a loader right here. If you guys want this loader, it fits a 95 horsepower Mahindra 70 series, but it might could be fitted on one of this tractor if you wanted to put a loader on it. So we've got the tractor and the spare tractor, 7,500 bucks. It's a steal. Deal, dude. Take two, make one really nice machine. Loader here, loader kit for a 7095 uh, Mahindra tractor or a 7100 uh, bucket, 84 inch bucket, brackets, all the whole kit to put this on a Mahindra. <clears throat> Honestly, I paid like $4,000 for this because I was going to put it on a tractor eventually, but 2500 bucks takes her home. <laughs> Up next, we've got old Clapper here. This is our Peterbilt that we did a wheel at start on about it's probably been eight months ago at least now we had big plans for this it's probably been a year it's been a minute it's been a minute it's got a uh, cummins engine in it we were going to toot this this was going to be the first tooted semi ever we're going to put it up in like four foot blocks in the front you know toot it oh, yeah. but with what we're about to be doing we got to clean up our act a little bit can't be doing crazy stupid stunts but she's just cherry. We've borrowed some parts off of it for air intake pieces and things like that. But it starts right up every time on time. Has zero brakes, folks. This thing has got a busted piece of glass in the front. <laughs> Started bidding off at one out of two, out of three, out of four. <laughs> Anyhow, no front brake axle. It does have power steering. Got a lot of miles on it, folks. <clears throat> Sweet little fuel tank. Leaf spring, Hendrickson axles on the back of this thing. Just a good old, oh, and it's double frame. I never noticed that. See the double frame back in there? Oh, yeah. Two frames in there. Heavy duty unit. Great running Cummins engine. Comes with a Rural King battery here. We will uh, jump her off because it could use a little bit of oomph and charge because I don't think it charges that well. Let me just hook the uh, jumper box right to the uh, bike scripts. <laughs> oh, yeah. That should work. That's connected. All right, let's go crank her up. She'll fire right up. Ready? Yeah. Well, guys, we'll come back to this one. Jump boxes are a little hot. Moving on. Over here, we've got Freightliner 2007 Mercedes Benz engine, brand new batteries. We picked this thing up from my buddy Paul. We did some trading. Um, dude, it's probably worth 10 grand. It really is. But today, 7,500 bucks. Oh, man, it don't get better than that. That's a steal. Before we start it, it does start. We did put a brand new starter in it, brand new batteries. This thing has got airliner suspension. This is the kicker, right? You're basically getting an engine transmission for free because this thing has got 46,000 pound rear axles, full locking rear axles. So super not common in a truck like this, but it's full locking rears. I believe it's like a 350 or 370 gear ratios. Full locking. I don't know how many times I can say that. Airliner, 46K rears. Dude, like that cutoff alone is worth like five or six grand at least or more. 
So this thing will cheat right up. It does need some brake work. Brakes work, but they're a little sticky. They need to be some lubed up, stuff like that. Maybe some S cams need to be messed with, but you can drive it home or for a small fee, we can deliver it. This old hot rod fire right up, son. cleaned up give her a gander but 7500 bucks dude they're running and driving day cab full locking rears all aluminum wheels on it that's a big thing 24 fives with a wet kit it's the deal of the century yeah it really is we got some cool stuff inside this garage here and here guys i've got something that uh I've never shown YouTube that we bought. We were going to make videos with it, but I haven't had time. Let me get the door open. Here it is. It's a, I think it's a 1,000 cc or 700 cc mini rod motorcycle tractor with a Honda engine on it. Starts and runs. It's got aftermarket coils and stuff set up on it. <clears throat> it's got a Ford 9 inch rear end in it. It needs the fuel system gone through and be serviced and things like that, but it will start up and run. Maybe we'll find a jump box to start it if they're not completely trashed off trying to start the old Peterbilt. I don't think we're going to worry about starting a Peterbilt anymore, but that thing does start up and run, okay? It 100% starts up and runs. We've got a sweet spare tire for one of my old trucks. 37 inch open country with a 17 inch wheel there 100 bucks oh that's a steal it is a steal this boy right here i'll go get the jump box we'll start it up <clears throat> 2500 bucks dang that's a steal <laughs> yep. this is a motorcycle powered tractor it'll do like 80 miles an hour fire truck edition death machine with a roll it's got a roll bar dude it's your same wear a helmet purpose all right so on this here unit, it's got a oxygen tank for a fuel tank. Pretty cool. <laughs> Being back in Florida has got my allergies going nuts. Ah, I don't know what half of this stuff does, but it's all there. It, this thing is homemade, so keep that in mind, folks. Homemade. It's not perfect. But it is a motorcycle-powered lawnmower. Well, kind of. It could use a battery. I don't know how to make sure it's in neutral. Oh, it says maybe the override function here. Step away. <laughs> Step very far back. Ready? Yep. Oh, dude, don't look at that. that. That is cool. <laughs> It could be yours. That is awesome. It's pretty, pretty cool unit. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, what do we have next, Ryan? Let's walk inside the shop, see what else we got going on. <clears throat> so, we've made it back to the shop, got our hitch picked up, picked up our old gooseneck from my buddy Paul. First thing we're going to put on the trailer is our old Mahindra here with the turbo. You guys haven't seen this thing in the background, but you haven't seen us do anything with it. That's because a while back I sent this injection pump off of it off the shy diesel had custom injectors built and bigger injection lines to make this thing make like 150 horsepower instead of 60 so only issue is lake lost all the hardware all somebody day. lost all the hardware so we're going to just kind of piece some of it back together for now get the pump put on there and get the engine kind of sealed up and then get this thing loaded up 
get all kinds of stuff loaded up this afternoon. So lots happening really quick. So these injectors have got special holders to hold them in their home. And tighten down in there. I don't know what the torque rating is. It's probably just a little bit tight. A little bit of grease to hold them copper washers in place. We need a little more grease around this O-ring here. This will be the most runningest, if runningest was a word, Mahindra there is in the country. I don't think anyone's ever did this kind of work to a Mahindra Tratter. It's going to light the turbo for real this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hear that? Hear the click? The torque and <laughs> says type 50. So since we are putting a big fuel pump on it, we got to put since we're putting a big injection pump on it. We got to put a big fuel pump, and somewhere floating around here is a new fast system. So these old style fuel filters we're not going to be using anymore. So we'll set them down there out of the way. And uh, I do want to keep this bracket though because. We will be utilizing this bracket for the fuel pump mounting. Well, guys, we've run into some technical difficulties. The injection lines we got from Shide, although they are in the correct bin, bins and all that good stuff, they upgraded to put bigger delivery valve holders on here. They don't screw on, so they made a little oops. Put them back in a box, ship those off, so we don't have everything to get it running anyway. So not that much of a delay, but it took us an hour to find this special thread nut to uh, hold this pump on here so it's not getting lost in transport. So we get the panels put back on here and we'll get this thing pushed on the trailer. Lake is getting that panel on that side. We get something to plug off the turbo feed because I just kind of started robbing parts off this for other stuff we were using building. So this thing needs some, some love. It deserves some love. It's gonna get some love. But for now, we just gotta get it uh, on the trailer and get it to Tennessee. Yo, what are you doing? And I don't know how to drive a man. Did it again. Dang, dude, you hit that shipping container real hard. What shipping container? What are you talking about? So before we get our fifth, ooh, basically bolt must bolt on the bottom of it. They're getting way fancier now. Before we get the uh, my truck hooked back up to the camper, we've got to put this fifth wheel together here. So we're gonna follow the instructions. Get it put together properly. got dark here pretty dang quick folks we've got the gmc hooked up to the camper loaded down full of merch robert showed up here he helped us drive the brutus out to missouri forever ago he's got his cdl great guy he's got his truck hooked up to our borrowed gooseneck from my buddy paul the tractor and the dodge on it 
Next, we're gonna get business expense loaded on the trailer here and the Scania. Scania, Scania, Scania. Let's get her done. just never gets old, does it? It's the first time I've seen all the lights in blue outside. Oh yeah. Looks good. You're gonna hit the front bumper.
I ain't going nowhere. All right, both trucks are loaded up. Almost died loading both of them, but nothing out of the normal. Our Globe trailer, I know some people have been asking about that. We just talked to them. We got all the paperwork done. It's paid for. Um, we'll be picking it up in roughly one to two weeks. So we'll probably be using it for something on this move. But for now, everything is loaded up. There's a lot happened in this video, dude. Dude, it's all over. We've got a hitch installed. Where do we even start? So tomorrow morning, we're going to be up early at 6 a.m. here at the shop to meet Robert at 6.30 at the Flying J in Dade City. And we are headed to Tennessee. And in the following video, we'll be revealing to you guys everything that's happening and what we're doing and why we're moving to Tennessee. So stay tuned. Comment down below if you have any guesses. Super excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing lots more sled pulling, I think, now. We're kind of toning it down, but... Now that we heart, got the hitch That's off. the heart of sled pulling country. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Comment down below if you have any guesses on why we're moving. And subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.